Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem app 5-8 from RC Hebaler Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the reactions at the roller support A, the ball and socket joint D, and the tension in cable BC for the plate. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw all the forces and the support reactions. First of all, we have a tensile force due to this cable BC. The point A is roller supported, so we just have a reaction along the z-axis. For ball and socket joint, the translation along the z-axis is blocked, so we have a support reaction. The translation along the y-axis is blocked, so we have a support reaction. And also the translation along the x-axis is blocked, so we have a support reaction. So for ball and socket joint, the translation in all three rectangular axes is blocked. So we have a support reaction along all three axes. Let's label them. So this right here is the tensile force PBC. This is the support reaction DX, DY and DZ. And this is the support reaction due to the roller at A. So AZ. So now we can apply our equations of equilibrium, but before that we have to consider this statement that forces that are parallel to the axis or pass through it, they produce no moment about the axis. So all the forces that are parallel to the axis, a particular axis, or they pass through it, they produce no moment about that particular axis. So we have to consider this statement for correctly writing the equations of equilibrium. So my first equation is summation of moments about y axis equals to zero. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the support reaction dx, dy and dz, also the tensile force Tbc is passing through the y axis, so these four forces will not produce any moment about the y axis. The 600 Newton force is trying to rotate the plate in counterclockwise direction about the y axis, so the moment produced by this 600 Newton force will be taken as positive. So 600 and the moment arm is 0 0.2 meter. The 900 Newton force is also trying to rotate the plate in counterclockwise direction about the y axis, so the moment produced by this 900 Newton force will be taken as positive. So we have 900 and the moment arm is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 meter, so 0 0.6 meters. The support reaction AZ is trying to rotate the plate in clockwise direction about the y axis, so the moment produced by this support reaction AZ will be taken as negative. So negative AZ and the moment arm is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2, so 1 meters equals to 0. So upon simplification, AZ comes out to be 660 newtons. So this is our first answer. Now for the support reaction DZ, we can do summation of moments about x axis equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the support reaction AZ, TY, the tensile force TBC are passing through the x axis, so these three forces will not produce any moment about the x axis. Also, the support reaction DX is parallel to the x axis. Since it's parallel, to the axis, that's why dx will not produce any moment as well about the x axis. So, only 900 Newton force, 600 Newton force, and the support reaction dz will produce the moment about the x axis. So, starting with this 900 Newton force, 900 Newton force is trying to rotate the plate in clockwise direction about the x axis. So, the moment produced by this 900 Newton force 
will be taken as negative. So negative 900. And the moment arm is this 0 0.1 meter distance. The 600 Newton force is trying to rotate the plate in clockwise direction about the x axis. So the moment produced by this 600 Newton force will be taken as negative. Negative 600. And the moment arm is this 0 0.5 meter distance. The support reaction DZ is trying to rotate the plate in counterclockwise direction about the x axis. So the moment produced by this DZ force will be taken as positive. So positive DZ. And the moment arm is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 meters. So 0 0.8 meters equals to 0. So from here, DZ comes out to be. 487.5 newtons so this is our second answer now for the support reaction dx we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0 i'm considering this side as positive so we just have dx equals to 0 because we just have a single force along the x-axis. So dx is 0. This is our third answer. For the support reaction dy, we can do summation of forces in y-axis equals to 0. I am considering this direction as positive for the y-axis. So we just have a single force along the y-axis which is dy, so dy is 0. So this is our fourth answer. So we have summation of forces in z-axis equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have az minus 900 minus 600 plus TBC plus DZ equals to 0. So if I substitute the known values, I would have 660 Newtons for AZ minus 900 minus 600 plus TBC. DZ is 487.5 newtons equals to 0. So upon simplification, TBC comes out to be 352.5 newtons. So this is our fifth answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, Please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in the equations of equilibrium, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.